So you're considering a career in medicine. And personally, I think that's absolutely awesome. If you have a goal, you have to go for it. But I think it's really important for a new medical student, someone who's thinking of going into this field, is that medical school is designed to weed you out. Um, number one, the first reason why uh, medical school tries to weed you out is that you're going to be doing a lot of hours in a day. A lot. <laughs> it does a really good job. Um, our medical school did a really good job of ramping us up um, slowly so that you start doing five hours a day. But that'll ramp up to eight, nine, ten hours in a day. And that's a lot of time to spend studying. It depends on what kind of grade you're looking for. If you want an A, you're going to be doing that upper level of study time. I know some people who didn't want to make that sacrifice and they didn't do as well. That's just a decision that you're going to have to make personally. Number two is that it's not just hard work <laughs> for a week, which was surprising to me. I felt like I was in finals week and it was only week one. <laughs> it's studying like you're in finals week every single week. You're studying harder than you've ever studied in your life every single week and it only gets worse <laughs> or longer, however you want to explain it. It does get worse. <laughs> but you get used to it, which is surprising. I, I was surprised every single exam I took I studied harder than I'd ever studied before, but I could handle it. I was surprised at what I was able to do. The third reason <laughs> that medical school breaks you is that you have to consider for you to study incredible amount of hours, week after week after week, you are gonna have to make sacrifices you are going to have physical and mental anguish. Physical and mental. You're gonna be tired from lack of sleep. You're gonna get out of shape. Your blood pressure might even increase. Um, all the things that, you're, that are not good for you, you're gonna be doing. You know, drinking coffee late, um, high cortisol all the time. And then mentally, you have to um, limit your contact with uh, family and friends. It's just a tough realization because you have only so much time to study. And you have to say no to a lot of people. For me, that was really challenging to have to say no to my family and friends and say, I, I can't see you. I can't. And they're hurt, but they'll understand. And you need to understand too that this is only a short period of time. But in the moment, it is tough. But do not despair. <laughs> there are ways for you to kick medical school's butt back. Number one is taking care of your nutrition, taking care of your health. That means you have to sleep, you have to eat correctly, for me, supplementation, taking a multivitamin, was a fantastic way to just make me feel better. And eating better, <laughs> eating um, whole grains, healthier fats. And what was surprising to me is how stressful medical school was, I actually got in better shape. Um, I had to quit drinking alcohol, which was probably one of the best things I've ever done, and made exercise a priority. Walk for at least an hour every day and then I'd either do a second walk or I would do a weight workout because your physical health is really important. Now a way that I would deal with the mental health is that I would mix the time that I had to exercise like say a walk and I'd use that to either call somebody who I hadn't talked to in a while or um, I would walk with one of my loved ones and it was good that we got to catch up and that I also got to do the thing that I had to do, which was um, stay healthy and go for a walk. Um, I also made an effort to have dinner with everyone 
when I had the time. And the third way to kick back when medical school is trying to crush you is that you just gotta be tough. You have to pull something out of yourself that's going to just push through. And I noticed the students who did the absolute best were the toughest, hardest workers. They weren't the smartest. That is so surprising. You know, in undergrad, it's really like the smartest student gets the best grades. But with this, because it's such a grind day in and day out, it really comes down to who's the toughest. Who can be willing to put in 30 more minutes of work? Who can stay up a little bit longer? Who can give the sacrifices of just not being on their phone and just doing a little bit more questions? And also, being creative and understanding yourself. You know, um, you really got to know how you study best. And the creativity part is knowing how to optimize your time, knowing how to make yourself more productive. You kind of have to find those things on your own. So I just want you to know, medical school is going to be hard. It's going to be very tough, but you can kick its butt. You can kick back. You just have to follow these tips. Take care of yourself. When you're taking care of yourself or doing the things that you have to do, try to include the, those things with the people that you love, like dinner or going for walks. It's fantastic. And that you just have to be tough and you got to be creative. You got to know how you work best and stick with it. If I'm telling you to my suggestions and you find something else that works for you, you got to do it. You got to do what works best for you. Okay. You got me? Now go out there and kick some booty.